Hi, my name is Chris Crow. I'm with ProFire Energy. Today we're going to discuss the ProFire 2100 and the burner management solution package that we put on the market for the oil and gas industry. Typically, uh, in some of the markets that you find that people are presenting themselves as burner management systems, is they'll put out a box. They'll give you a couple of these little solenoids and they'll say good luck. What ProFire typically does is we have to come through five points of approval in order to be a burner management system. First point, you'll need auto ignition. Second being flame detection. Then you'll need temperature control, four would be safety shutdown capabilities, five would be the ability to have remote capabilities. So this would include Modbus, uh, remote start and stop, and ESD. Now we're going to go through those points, just basically going over the 2100 briefly and how that incorporates into this solution. First off, you have to have auto ignition. So Reagan, if you'll pull that aside. Profire offers auto ignition across the pilot electrode that will give you 40,000 volts based on the 5 amp circuit. This is what we're going to show you here. As you can hear, one heck of a spark. We typically don't recommend that you put it any closer than a quarter of an inch. We're not the typical igniter guys where you go an eighth of an inch off the end of the nozzle and you corrode after a long period of time. We'd like to be a quarter of an inch off the end so that we get this and that you hear this as well inside the fire tube. Now if you'll rotate that back around, in order to do that spark, as you see there, we have a coil or transformer inside the flame arrestor housing behind the flame cell that actually sends an ignition source to the electrode that does your flame detection as well as ignition. As we move on, we've already discussed ignition points. So next you would want to see your flame detection. So our flame detection uses the same rod as the ignition source. And this is where we'll prove it here. Four, three, two, one. So once you've received the pilot, the solenoid opens, the ignition source goes, you will actually see a percentage here on this board here. You see 100%. Then it'll go into a sequence to actuate the valve. What we do want to talk to you about is the way we sense flame detection. We do not do flame scan. We do not do fire eye. What we do is ionization through rectification. And in achieving that, the source comes through the canthal rod there's a signal from the energy from the flame that is present on that rod that sends a signal back to the VMS, which is then converted into percentage. And that's how we do flame detection. So now we want to talk about the ability to do safety shutdown or temperature control. So first off, temperature control, ProFire uses a dual head connection, which is a type K thermocouple. This will go in your bath, your exhaust, your coil line, wherever you're trying to sense and protect your heater with the temperature monitoring. The reason why we like thermocouple as well, guys, is thermocouple is used based on higher temperatures than an RTD. RTD typically goes anywhere from four to 500 degrees where a thermocouple can go up to 2,000 and above. So once again, ProFire utilizes a dual head thermocouple, type K. Why, we re why do we use a dual head? The reason why we use a dual head is for redundant temperature reading. We actually will monitor high temp as well as your process. Those have to be in the same sequence together in order to pass through code. That way you cannot trick the system. In doing so, what happens is that you'll see a process temp. So you'll set your set point to wherever the bath needs to be set. The burner management system will then use the brain inside of it to achieve whatever it needs to by actuating these valves in order to control that main burner for you to get to your temperature. Now this is where we're going to show safety shutdown as well as the way this actuates for the main. On this fuel system here, what you're going to see is us going through a main regulator to cut down to your pressure. This will be 80 uh, pounds back pressure, dialing down to 15 PSI on your main. Then it goes into your pilot, which is 3 to 5 PSI. And these valves actuate to determine which one comes on first. Now we'll go through the sequence. 5, 4, 3, Two, one. So as you see again, ignit igniting pilot, flame detection will come next. And once again, once you see flame detection, of course, like I said, you'll see temperature monitoring. So when I'm trying to achieve 380, because that's my set point, I need to open up the main in order to get to achieve that process set point. So next becomes these open up, then we go through the control valve main burner comes on. In order to safely shut down, you get a high temp or I have an issue, I press the red button, everything stops. 
There's my safety shutdown. Remote capabilities, guys, will fall under the ability to use RS-485 Modbus, which is two-way communication. You can also utilize a run status, a remote ESD, or a remote start and stop. So those are some of the features where you can remotely control this burner management system. So in all of that, we have proved that uh, five features of a burner management system and how we classify it as a solution. We don't want to provide the box, we want to give you the solution. Now as I'm talking about solution guys, this is where I want to show you. We give you the burner management system, we tie it into an approved fuel train, as you can see here, once again, through your 627R regulator. This regulator is a relief regulator. So it is here to relieve any excess pressure to protect your solenoid so that you don't have an issue. Once it goes through here, it drops down secondary pressure to your uh, pilot solenoid and your pilot regulator, which we control down to three to five pounds. Once that's satisfied off of auto ignition and flame detection, it opens these up. When it opens these up, we go into what we call a temperature control valve. Now this is a Camry HPMV 1400. We have designed this with Camry to have an equal percentage trim. Standard trim on this basically has one cylinder seat. This has a tapered seat in order to open up and give you a throttle. And the way we get that is by using a speed control valve where we can control how fast this valve opens. What that does, not only protect the pilot, give you secondary air, but it also will protect your operators. So when you saw the fuel train come on to the main burner, that is the sequence that we utilize with fuel trains. We put fuel trains so that you're not just getting a, a solenoid and a box because you really need every one of these controls in order to safely maintain a heater and protect your assets and operators. So by doing so, once again, guys, it's as easy as this here. Everything's set up. You're happy. The solution is ready. All you have to do is click mode, put in an auto, step away, and it does its job. So that's as simple as that, guys. That shows you that ProFire is utilizing five safety steps in order to achieve a burner management solution. One thing that we will also discuss, guys, is that you can use 12 or 24 volts on this system. Uh, when we're utilizing 12 volts, we actually apply a battery box with a full solution solar package that will actually fold up and attach to this skid when you get into the field. And the idea of this, guys, is to be able to have a plug and play solution. So plug and play, I'm sure everyone knows about it, but if you don't, plug and play means as soon as it gets to the field, I can plug it in and play with it. Kind of like your kids at Christmas. So what we utilize here, guys, is when it gets to the field, this is already set up, this is all attached. Class 1, Div 2, electrical work, all of the piping is approved, BMS is set, solar is set, this is all pre-tested. The only thing you have to do is three mechanical connections, inlet on your gas, pilot, and main. Once you've done that, all you have to do is tie in your thermocouple as well as your transformer inside of the flame arrestor housing. The install time should go anywhere from four to six hours with a two-man crew. And the idea of that is to save you money on contract time and downtime on your heaters. So in the end, the system can almost pay for itself. And basically, guys, that is a brief 2100 burner management solution.